Hi, I'm Charles. And I'm Caroline. We got married in June and now we're sailing around the Atlantic Ocean for the year. Come join us as we document our journey. In this episode, Fred, Becca, Caroline and I leave the Bahamas for an 800 nautical mile passage to Bermuda. On the first evening we get caught by quite a severe and intense electrical storm, however we get through it unscathed. We do quite a lot more fishing, play a bit of backgammon to keep us entertained and eventually we arrive in Bermuda which was absolutely wonderful. So it's 5 past 10 on Saturday the 7th of May, 700 odd miles to our northeast. We've got two reefs in the main. It's quite blustery today, it's probably close to 20 knots, but we don't know because the windex isn't working. So we've got the sails out. Goose winged reef in the Janelle and two in the main. It's quite rolly. There's a weird cross swell, well there's a swell coming from our forward starboard side as well as waves behind us so it's a little bit rolly but not too bad. We're going along at seven knots, got all the rods out, not caught anything over the ridge which is a bit of a shame. But it's a very good morning. It's the afternoon of the first day, the crew are well. Like it's just reading her book. Woo! <laughs> We've got six lines in the water which is an insane amount, but we've actually caught nothing, so maybe we'll put some more on. <laughs> uh, the wind died a little bit when we were goose winged, so we dropped the Janaya and put up the cruising sheet. And we are bowling along at seven knots with only 12 to 13, well, 10 to 13 knots of wind. So that's pretty good, you know, getting seven knots out of 12 knots. So really quite happy. So, so, so. Yeah, mahi mahi. Decent mahi, mahi mahi. Mahi mahi. Okay, dude, bring it around that way. There we go. And just don't reel it in yet. Let it run, let it run. Let it run. Just what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thumb on it because it's actually quite a big one. So it's the evening of day one and we're having a very nice mushroom risotto Fred is still buzzing over his mahi which we've now gutted and filleted I think Beck is going to have it when they cook it tomorrow It's a little grey but we've got some wind so we're happy so, there is quite a large electrical storm around us. I've been trying to dodge it for the last hour and a half, sadly. But there's quite a lot of port lightning in the ground around us. So about us. Three, you know, it's gone from north, through east, through south now, northwest. And the crew of Caris are all down here. And like, hey guys! <laughs> it's very wet here. My hero! My hero! I've, uh, Annoyingly, I've got the uh, I've got the, da the danger danger money task now. Putting myself as captain on the on the form this means I gotta gotta stake up here, get the hit first. It's morning of day two, and 
We've chosen a rare sunny spell to do some filming because we've been dodging thunderstorms all morning. However, there is barely anything on the radar now. We've only got this thing there. So, we are out of the woods for now. We are goose winged. There's one reef in the main, no, one reef in the Janae and two reefs in the, in the main. We had 40 knots of wind over the deck yesterday. It wasn't the nicest evening. Kara's down there somewhere having a sleep. It's the afternoon of day two. The sun's come out. We are continuing to goose wing. Drying out all the pillows and cushions from yesterday. In the distance we had a tanker which came pretty close to us but we knew they were going in behind us so it was quite nice to see something close up. It's a change from the endless blue. Got the rods out still, not caught anything since Fred's Mahi. But it's turning into a much nicer day. I'm here at my favourite part of the boat. In the world go by. Whilst Becca makes a lovely salad for us. <gasps> Got that on camera. <laughs> Becca just ruining the environment. Sorry. Look at that, look at this spread. Amazing. You can tell we've got girls on board, otherwise Fred and I would be eating McDonald's and noodles. Can you use an action camera to uh, to film a salad? Yeah. <laughs> it's a GoPro, so we get right on oh, right, 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 right. right. <laughs> It's the evening of day two. We've had the cruising shoot up for most of the day. When did we put it up? Like this afternoon, isn't it? Yeah. We've had the cruising shoot up since this afternoon. It's been doing well in about 10 to 14 knots of wind getting us between five and eight knots. We are eating the mahi, which Fred caught Bye. yesterday. And Becca has baked it with taters. Absolutely delicious. It's morning of the third day, and there is a very nice sunset ahead of us. Sunrise. Sunrise. <laughs> Every time I put the camera in front of my face at all. I just say gibberish. Look at this though. We've lost the wind so we're motoring a bit. Well, it's a very pretty morning. Later that morning, one of the rods started to whir. Once we reeled it in, we realised it was a small mahi mahi. We unhooked him and we let him go. Day three. The day is merging into one. <laughs> <laughs> it's the afternoon of day three. We have one reef in the Janae and one in the main using the Hydra vein. We are going around six to seven knots and 15 knots wind with quite moderate swell. It's pretty fun though. Becca yeah. is now holding a new lure we're going to put in. So what we have here, if you hold it Becca, yeah. we have a pin rigged belly hoo. There we go, look at this bad boy. Uh, we caught him in uh, in the BVI, so he's travelled all the way from the BVI as this ballyhoo, in the fridge mind you. And um, that's the pin rig there. Goes into his body in the centre line. And this flashy old thing here is going to attract the cross on. Say so to put darker lures, so we're going to put a black and red. Well, I'm not sure what fish in the ocean has <laughs> my last strikes, but... Hula skirt. Hula skirt is a tropical lure. 
All right, we'll see. And we got some glow in the dark bees just in case. So it's an absolute party. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try that and see if we can catch any fishes. Okay, so we're just coming to the end of day three. We just had a delightful mahi cauliflower and chickpea curry by these delightful people. And the rice. And the rice was done by Charles. And it was okay. Um, you can't really see the sunset. Big old rain clouds over there. We're hoping that doesn't come to us. And what we've been up to today, the cruising shoot, back on the white sails now. So we um, had a four hour nap. I might have had a three hour nap. Four. And um, Fred and Charles uh, reeled in a baby mahi mahi, which we then released because he was too little to keep. And we've got lots of mahi mahi meat. It is Tuesday morning. It's the fourth day. Just having our teas and coffees. And I wanted to show you. Oh, I'm not sure in because the screen doesn't sit, but our log 8999. <clears throat> We're about to hit 9,000 miles of travel since July, which means we'll have some nice fizzy or bubbly at some point to celebrate. Last night was pretty uneventful on a uh, port tack. Although we're a little slow because there's some quite big ocean swell forward of the beam which is slowing us down. Pilot wells, yeah, about 50 meters. Pilot wells, I think. I think I'm kind of making it up. I'm over there on the beam now. Okay, so we're into day five. Oh, quite rolly. Stuff going everywhere. We're having a. Uh, it's a fucking Kelly and a white mixer. It's a fucking Kelly and a white mixer. <laughs> Ooh, having a little movie night in the cockpit. It's a bit rainy and windy. Beautiful sunset out here. The music's perfect, so <laughs> Very nice evening. So we found a flying fish on deck this morning. So he wired his wings open. Put a hook through his mouth, uh, through his yeah, body into his mouth, and crimps it there, and put a second one on that, and we're hopefully going to catch a nice fish. So it's the final morning, day seven. We are putting our courtesy flags on, quarantine flag and the Bermuda flag. Very nice. Look at that. So we need to put that up on the spreaders up there. We've actually still got our Bahamas one flying, which is a bit noisy. We are going to arrive this afternoon. We're most saying now to a dead end wind as usual. Shipwreck. It does very much look like a shipwreck on their flag. It's not very, it's not very comforting. It's a bit ominous. Back is really going to fish. Ah! So guys, I, this is a bonita. A bonita fish. It's a bonita fish! A bonita fish pig. <laughs> Congratulations, have a look at it. Oh, look at it. Wow, it's heavy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bonita fish big. Getting in a hook. So, the plan is to go up and down the hook. Yeah, yeah, so the planer has tripped. There we go, there we go, yeah, yeah. There's a fish, boys. Becca's already reeled in. I actually looked at the chart. It's either a little tunny or a bonita fish. It's a bonita. <laughs> bonita fish. So, we've caught two mahi, one amberjack, a tunny or thingy and whatever this is if, if Fred managed to, to get it on on deck. Oh wow. What is it? <laughs> it's called a sand diver. <laughs> They're uh, bottom fish. They're reef fish. Oops, oh wow. Badly. <laughs> oh shit. Is he dead? Oh no. Oh. Right so we're just approaching St George's and there's quite a narrow town cut to go through there. After however many miles it's been, we count that later. We are going to make landfall after six days and um, 
three hours. So it stays in three hours and stays with us. Friday. We left on a Friday. No, it's not Saturday. Six days and three oh, hours. Count. Count. Just coming in the town cut into St George's. Mmm, that greenery does smell good. Uh, I'm now getting animal smells. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm, yeah. yummy. It's you. It's you. Once we had checked in, we went to the pub for a much deserved drink. Yeah, <laughs> we're having pizzas and champagne for multiple of reasons, multiple, a multitude mm -hmm. of reasons. We made our 9,000th mile on we board. We got kicked out of the bar. We got kicked out of the bar. Oh. Becca waited for everyone else to tears before <laughs> eating. Cheers. And we completed our Good quite today. difficult passage to, mm. uh, from Bahamas to Bermuda. So we did. It was difficile. Mm. Tink. Mm. In the next episode, the crew of four of us, comprising of myself, Mick, Woody, and Mike, set across the Atlantic from Bermuda to the Azores. We have quite a bumpy start, however, this is made up when we catch a huge amount of tuna and a sizable wahoo. We have fantastic conditions crossing, and we even toast to the Queen's Diamond Jubilee aboard before successfully and safely arriving into Horta.